Born in Detroit, Michigan, Peter Carmanis Jr. has been a passionate builder and supporter of hockey in the United States for more than five decades. Hockey was always his favorite sport, but it wasn't until he took his sons to a learn to skate program that his passion grew into what it is today, an empire of hockey at all levels. His competitive spirit led to enormous success as the co-founder of CompuWare, a Detroit-based technology performance company that was established in 1973. Carmanis used the namesake of his technology firm to build one of America's most successful youth club programs. CompuWare Hockey has produced several players who went on to outstanding hockey careers, both on the international stage and in the NHL, including Pat LaFontaine, Al Iafredi, Mike Medano, Eric Lindros, and Kevin Hatcher. His company was really emerging as a world-class company, and yet he was so passionate about his youth organization as much as anything. I played for the very first CompuWare sponsor team. He uh, took me to practices, he picked me up and took me to tournaments when my parents couldn't do it, and he actually helped our team coach, he ran the D a couple times. Uh, he was very intense on the bench and just loved hockey. Carmanis also supported the first American club to play in the Ontario Hockey League with the now Plymouth Whalers. The franchise has qualified for the OHL playoffs in 22 of 23 seasons and has produced 16 first round NHL draft picks, including Americans like Brian Berard, David Leguan, JT Miller, and Ryan Hartman. In 1994, Carmanis' reach expanded to the National Hockey League when he acquired the Hartford Whalers and became the principal owner, governor, and chief executive officer of the team. Two years later, he relocated the club to Raleigh, North Carolina, and changed the name of the franchise to the Carolina Hurricanes. I think the golden age of hockey is upon us. He believes in American hockey, and he believes in the American hockey player. Peter has been as big an advocate as we could have within the NHL Board of Governors room, and a lot of our programs, which are today supported by the NHL, would not enjoy that support if it weren't for Peter's advocacy. Since the team's arrival in North Carolina, the Hurricanes have enjoyed success both on and off the ice, including two Eastern Conference championships and a Stanley Cup in 2006. Additionally, in 2011, the Hurricanes staged a memorable NHL All-Star Weekend. All of us were happy when he won the Stanley Cup. Peter is a person who doesn't want to be in the forefront. He doesn't mind being in the background but we'll always do the right thing and we'll stick up for what he believes is right. Over the last five years, the Hurricanes have been among the top franchises in all of sports, according to the ESPN Ultimate Standings, a collection of data and survey results that include on-ice success, community impact, and overall fan experience. Widely known for his philanthropy, Carmanis established Detroit's Barbara Ann Carmanis Cancer Institute in 1995. The Institute was granted comprehensive cancer center status by the National Institute of Health, the only one of 39 in the U.S. named after a woman. Carmanis has collected a variety of awards for his contributions to hockey. The NHL honored him with the Lester Patrick Trophy in 1998. He was inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame in 2010, and USA Hockey presented him with the Distinguished Achievement Award in 2012. Joining the list of immortals who have left an indelible mark on the game of hockey in the United States, please welcome to the United States Hockey Hall of Fame, Peter Carmanis.